Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance. Today's tool review is going to be a Milwaukee product that I got on clearance. And I've been getting a lot of things on clearance here lately. Seems like pretty good deals anyways. At Lowe's, I picked up this Crescent 15-inch pry bar along with this hammer here. I think it's, uh, I don't remember how many ounce hammer it was. 16-ounce hammer, $4.98 a piece. I mean, it seems like a pretty decent hammer, pretty decent pry bar. Did I need another pry bar? Did I need a, another hammer? Uh, probably not, but you know, for five bucks a piece, I feel like if I didn't buy them, I was going to be losing money at that point. Also walking through the store, I glanced over and saw these Irwin straight line tape measures, a two pack of 25s on sale for $30. So that makes them $15 a piece. Um, uh, they got the double sided measurements. I do like that. The, the tape actually seems like it's pretty thick, pretty durable. The main thing that I liked about it is it's got this retention place for you to put your fingers Kind of like the Milwaukee's, and I haven't been a fan of the Milwaukee tape measures, but where you can, you know, start and stop by just holding your finger on the tape right there. I do like that feature, but I haven't had any of these. So I was curious to know if any of y'all have used these Irwin straight lines over time, what you thought about them, how well they've held up. I'm going to go ahead and give them a go and just see how it works out. But today's product that I'm talking about is a Milwaukee Air Tip. My Home Depot has a lot of these things on clearance here lately. And I thought about getting a couple of other ones, but this one's caught my eye. This is actually one that I've been wanting to get for quite some time, but it's been, it's one of the most expensive ones that they have. And it is the Milwaukee powered brush roller. It's an M12 air tip. So it actually takes a battery and it's basically a powered roller brush for you use with your shop vac on carpet floors, whatever it is. And I saw this, got it for 40 bucks. Regularly priced is I think $80 or something like that. I would have probably never bought it for $80, but I've always told myself if I can buy something that takes the M12 battery, a tool of some kind for less than 50 bucks, I don't care how often I think I might use it, I'm going to buy it because there's going to be a time where I will use it. And this probably isn't a tool that I had in mind whenever I thought that in my head. It's more like drills, saws, whatever it is. But nevertheless, I'm sure this is going to come in handy. But I thought I'd go ahead and share with you the features today. And then also I'm going to dump some sawdust out on this carpet here. We'll try sucking it up with my pack out vacuum with just this regular utility nozzle. And then also with this, see what the difference is. See how much better this might work. Is it worth the $40 or is it worth the $80 if yours isn't on clearance? You know, again, depends on how often you run into needing a vacuum that you might use something like this, but let's go ahead and get into the features and then also put it into action. So features wise, there's really not a lot to it. It takes your M12 battery, you just put it in there, then it's got a power on and off button. It does have that air tip feature where it fits almost any shop vac that you've got. It will take an inch and a quarter holes inside of here, an inch and a seven eighths on the outside of here, and then also a two and a half inch hose inside of there. I really like all these tips for that feature alone. Uh, because I don't, if I go use them on my Festool vac or if I use them on my pack out vac, I don't really have to sit there and come up with adapters and things like that. For the most part, they've always worked on every single, you know, thing that I've used it for. And again, the model number on this is 0980-20 if you're looking into that. And again, it's got a power button here. It tells you how much battery you have. Also turns on these lights, as you saw here. And then you have this adjustable base that you can just basically tilt it to whatever angle that you want to get at whatever you're working on whether you want to go straight on or if you're working off of a floor and you want to kind of have it tilted some uh, that easily moves and then you've got your brushes here uh, inside of here i think the black ones seem like they're a little softer and then the red ones might be a little bit harder i'm not real sure they feel wise that's what they feel like uh, but you can turn it on here watch that move Uh, so again, that's what the M12 battery is doing is that. And then it also has, let me remove the battery so you can see it better, a little bit of suction control right here. So that if you're vacuuming, vacuuming off and you don't want to basically suck the carpet up to where it's kind of uh, blocking off everything on your vacuum, you can release a little bit of your suction pressure here by adjusting this, you know, making this gap a little bit bigger if that's something that you need to do. If you're working maybe with some high nap carpets or something like that so that's pretty much it on the features i'm gonna go ahead again let's dump out some sawdust put it into action and see what we got got some sawdust out of my uh, miter saw collection bag we'll get some of that sprinkled out onto this carpet kind of work it around so 
So again, I'm going to be using the M18 Packout Vacuum for this. It has a 8 amp hour high output battery in it and then also it's fully charged all those things i'm going to use this nozzle that's what comes with your pack out back i'll just go down you know this side with that and then i'll go down the other side with the powered brush roller the air tip and i'm going to run both of them on the high setting So you can see the nozzle did a pretty good job from the visual eye, like probably from what you're seeing here, but I'm gonna zoom in and see if I can get closer. You can see the little specks. Those are like embedded in the carpet, kind of twisted in with the little fabric or whatever it is. Those are the things that are gonna be hard to get up with just your regular vacuum, but maybe this powered vacuum will do better for that. So now we're gonna use the M12 powered brush on this side, we'll see if it does any better. definitely a lot better on this side if i zoom in again you can see over here maybe you can see some of these things showing up the little bitty things again i'm not sure if it's going to pick up on the camera but there's little bitty fine sawdust that are still hooked into the carpet and on this side i'm not really seeing hardly any of those now i did probably go over it maybe a couple more times on this side with the powered air tip that I did with this with the nozzle. So I'm gonna hook the nozzle back up real fast, turn it on, I'm gonna go back over this several times and see if it makes it any better. So I'm gonna try to get it in close here. Uh, so this is the side of the airbrush if i scoot over see you can see there there's a little bit of sawdust in here and you know there's some more up in here in that area so, so is this side better than this side the side that i use the power brush on absolutely it is in my opinion again i don't know how well that translates on video but this side i don't hardly see any sawdust whatsoever pretty much all over the, this whole entire side if i look all over the whole entire carpet i can see a little piece here and there so does it make a difference absolutely it does uh, again how much you'll use it only you know that but for 80 bucks i don't know that it's worth it for 40 bucks possibly just depends on how much you're going to use it but that's it in action that's the features that it has it's up to you to decide whether or not it's right for you so yeah guys that is the m12 powered brush roller again agitating debris off of carpets or floors or whatever it is that you're using it for is it a tool that everybody needs? Probably not. Is it a tool that I would have probably paid regular price for? Probably not as well. But for 40 bucks, I decided I was going to make it into, adding it into my arsenal of my air tips that I have that I keep in the back of my truck. I keep those with me all the time just for different situations that come up. I can pull out whatever it is that I need, and it's just something to add to that. So let me know in the comments below if you've got it, if you've got another brand's version of it or whatever it might be, how it's working out for you, all those kinds of things. Uh, don't let it just be my review. Let it be a comment section review as well. I always like to read what everybody thinks about things. So hope it was useful in some ways. You guys stay safe. Have a blessed day. See you on the next video.